In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP thoracic spine. The AP thoracic spine should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on the table with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. We start today with the IR in the bucky tray. So you need all of our locks engaged. The transverse lock is on. Longitudinally it is centered to the IR and I have 40 SID. I'm going to leave the tray open so I can use the top margin of the IR an inch and a half above the level of the shoulders. Be very mindful of the pillow because pillows do show up. So I'm going to slide the pillow up just a little bit. The actual central ray is from the juglier notch to the xiphoid and it should be right in the midline of the mid-sagittal plane. I'm going to leave my collimation open lengthwise and then I'm going to collimate two to three inches from side to side. I'm going to have the patient bend her knees. This helps reduce um, object image image distance and it also takes some of that lordotic curve out of her lower back. So would you bend your knees for me? I'm going to shield my patient. I'm going to place a right marker here on the right side of her body. I'm going to ask that she holds very still and then the exposure is made. A diagnostic AP thoracic spine radiograph must be free of motion and rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the 12 thoracic vertebrae aligned in the middle of the image with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. In this view, we will be demonstrating the lateral thoracic spine. The lateral thoracic spine should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on the table a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. For the lateral, I'm gonna have her turn to her left side. So would you please roll over to the left? I'm gonna have you take like a little nap, put your hands in front of your face. And we wanna make sure that she's in true lateral position. So her shoulders must be stacked, her hips must be stacked, her knees and her ankles all stacked. We're gonna place the leg shield back on her. And here we're gonna do the same thing. The central ray is actually at T7, and we're gonna still center an inch and a half above the level of those shoulders. We're gonna use the coronal plane, and then collimate from side to side. And now we wanna use a left marker. We wanna place this left marker anteriorly and there's two ways that we can do this. You can use breathing technique, and allow the patient to breathe with a long exposure time and purposely create motion that demonstrates the thoracic spine very well, or you can actually have them hold their breath. So we're gonna have our patient hold very still and then the exposure is made. A diagnostic AP lateral thoracic spine radiograph must be free of motion and rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the open intervertebral disc spaces with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. T1 to T3 are typically not clearly visualized due to superimposed anatomy. In this view, we will be demonstrating the lateral cervical thoracic spine or swimmer's view. The lateral swimmer's cervical thoracic spine should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on the table, a 40 inch source to image distance, and if needed, a three to five degree caudate tube angulation, depending on the patient's ability to depress the shoulder. The thoracic spine has a very dense area up here, so a swimmer's view is very beneficial to show the upper thoracics. So we're going to demonstrate that. I'm going to remove the pillow, and I'm gonna have you extend your left arm straight out, and you're gonna rest your head on your arm. 
We're gonna actually use an angle and it's three to five caught it and we're gonna center right here at C7. We are here now displacing those shoulders, keeping them previously superimposed. Now we have offset them. So we should be able to see the top thoracic very well. So I'm gonna add the um, three to five, centering here at seven making sure I'm still centered to my IR. I'm going to collimate down to about a 10 by 12, keeping the left marker anteriorly. And we're going to have her take her arm and place it down by her body and pull the shoulder down. We're going to uh, do suspend respiration. Patient's going to hold very still. The exposure is made. A diagnostic lateral cervicothoracic spine or swimmer's view must be free of motion and rotation with adequate penetration through the shoulder region. Demonstrated anatomy to include the lower cervical and upper thoracic vertebrae with proper visualization of soft tissue and bony detail. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.